The Lejeune Institute is a huge comfort for us. Their extensive experience working with all forms of genetic diseases, the feeling of being welcomed and listened to. We are really monitored here. We know they have real expertise. It gives us a lot of hope for Trisomy 21. Maybe someday we will find the cure. Our children are taken very seriously and given the attention they need. Founded and funded by the Jerome Lejeune Foundation since 1997, the Lejeune Institute is carrying on the work of Professor Lejeune, who discovered Trisomy 21. The Institute has three missions, care, research, and advocacy. The Institute offers a global medical follow-up to patients with intellectual disorders of genetic origins. The lifelong monitoring is done by a multidisciplinary team of physicians and paramedical professionals. The Institute is also engaged in many research programs to better understand the diseases and their associated disabilities, as well as looking for new treatments. On the strength of its exceptional expertise, the Lejeune Institute also trains families and professionals. About 1,000 people attend these programs every year. Over 7,300 people, like 17-year-old Thomas, are being monitored here. They are often referred by their physicians, like Dr. Levy, who have known the Institute for years. These children need a global follow-up. They have heart problems, thyroid problems, stunted growth, language problems, ENT problems, insertion difficulty. All these problems are taken care of at the Lejeune Institute. That's the reason why I always encourage families to consult there. The Lejeune Institute truly has an important place in the life of those children and their families. Once a year, Thomas does a global checkup with Dr. M.A. Ravel, who he knows well. Thomas is an old friend of the Institute. He has been a patient here ever since he was four months old. The oldest ones on the team, like myself, have been monitoring patients with intellectual disabilities for almost 30 years. We are considering a number of patients with Down syndrome, one of the biggest in the world, and we have the expertise which others don't. We also have hour-long consultations, so we can check everything ranging from full medical exams to a thorough interview of the patient and his parents. One year, Dr. Murchet just looked at Thomas and said, Oh, he must have sleep apnea. It turns out Thomas had a serious case of sleep apnea. If we hadn't come here, no one would have known that Thomas had sleep apnea. My pediatrician always says, Of course you should ask for advice from the doctors at the Lejeune Institute, because he knows they are experts. There are about 20 medical and paramedical health professionals who work here as a team for their patients. We monitor patients with genetic diseases, which means not only one cell, but all of them are impaired. So they need a multidisciplinary or cross-disciplinary examination. People also come here to find specialists and seek advice about speech therapy, psychomotor and cognitive development, and about associated complications. Every week, the medical team needs to discuss, review, and share their perspective on their patients. This is what creates the heart and soul of the Institute, a team of experts in the service of their patients with a positive and benevolent eye. This expert and benevolent eye is the result of over 50 years of helping patients. Professor Rathor, close associate of Professor Lejeune, testifies. We have known many elderly patients from their birth. We were with Professor Lejeune first at St. Louis Hospital, at Trosso Hospital, and then at Necker Enfant Malade Hospital. 
The Institute represents Professor Lejeune's long medical history and his great human approach. I know how much our patients and their families consider the Institute like a second family, where they feel welcomed and loved. It is, of course, very important for patients since they are often stigmatized by society. The Lejeune Institute offers lifelong monitoring for the patients whose lives have drastically lengthened in the past years. In the process of continuous improvement, the Institute has created a geriatric consultation in which Bruno, a regular patient of 62 years, is welcome today. The aging consultation has been created two years ago. It is multidisciplinary as geriatricians, neurologists, and neuropsychologists work together to detect any cognitive impairment and give the patients the best quality of life possible as they age. Patients come from all over France and sometimes even from overseas. This innovative consultation is closely linked to the research, which is very active nowadays. For the last five to six years, there have been real therapeutic projects. This is very promising for everyone, for the parents, families, and for the patients who sometimes ask us doctors, and you, what do you do to cure me? The Lejeune Foundation has invested in research ever since its creation. In 20 years, the foundation has financed 570 projects. Some of them are clinical trials conducted at the Institute. Little Tiora participates in one of these trials called the ACHTYF protocol. She is visiting the Institute for the third time this year for a day-long exam. The research on trisomy 21 has made significant progress. Fifteen years ago, there were almost no therapeutic leads, but new ones have appeared four or five years ago. This answers the real demand of families. They want to know what research we are doing for their children. Here, they know how to approach the child compared to other physicians who may not have seen many children with Down syndrome. They know how to interact with the children and the parents. A kind of osmosis is created, and it's good. The blood samples of the ACHTYF study complete the Institute Biobank, which is at the core of the international research on intellectual disabilities of genetic origin. We have been able to collect index and bank samples, such as blood, DNA, lymphocyte cell lines, from over 5,000 patients with intellectual disabilities of a genetic origin. At the international level, the hope to find molecules is high, so a new craze is created among researchers, a new enthusiasm. They realize they have been wrong to have neglected this field of research in the past. This explains the demand of biological resources. We are the only biobanks in the world to offer those exceptional samples. Continuing the work of Professor Lejeune, the Institute was one of the few to search actively in this field, but is now collaborating with other researchers and pharmaceutical laboratories from all over the world. There is no well-conducted research without an extensive knowledge of both the disorder and the patient. On this basis, the Institute has a wealth of this unique experience. This knowledge is now made available to the researchers worldwide. They can come to visit the Institute and propose new clinical trials, thus pushing the research forward to find new solutions, treatments and drugs. The goal is to cure the intellectual disorders, the greatest cause of distress for patients, their main handicap.
qui est la première souffrance d'une personne et qui se connaît en